Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our stamp set, Offset Sayings Birthday. And this set is so great because it has a bunch of mix and match sentiments that are perfect for birthdays and also other kinds of cards too. And it has this really cool style of an open letter and a solid letter, which you can use on their own or layer together. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp this out and then look at all of the different ways to mix and match these different styles. So here we have happy birthday to you or happy B day to you. We have yay, make a wish, and also smile and smiles. We also have the word big and also a hashtag and an exclamation point. And so you can mix and match all of these together. And then we also have some smaller phrases that you can mix and match with these too. But first I wanna show you how in these same exact words, we also have the solid version. So once again, you could do the open version on its own, the solid version on its own, or you can layer them to get some really, really cool effects. And I love the solid ones because they're so bold. So when you need a nice bold sentiment on a card, this is great. Stamping these on pattern paper, they really show up and it looks amazing with a really cool pattern behind it. So now we have those smaller phrases that I was talking to you guys about earlier. So this is a different style, a little bit smaller, and I really like mixing and matching the large font with the small font. So we have wishing you a very happy day birthday. You can say on your birthday, it's your birthday. You can do sending smiles. So you can see I can do the small smiles or the big smiles. You can say eat cake, <laughs> which is really, really cute. And and then eat cake and be happy. <laughs> it's Is it too late to say? Sorry, I forgot, which sometimes we need that. And then you can have make a wish and do the big wish with the smaller make a hugs special, you can say sending hugs to you. So you can see how it's really, really fun to mix and match everything. The possibilities are endless and we're gonna be showing you a lot of cool ways to put these together. Now we're gonna look at some ways to use the open letter. So of course you could just stamp them on their own in black ink or a different color of ink, or you can color them in, which I really like to do. And there's lots of different ways that I like to color these in. One quick and easy way is to just use one color and one marker and fill those letters in. Another way is to do a gradient or ombre effect. So I'm gonna add a darker color at the bottom and then lighter towards the top. So all I need is two colors of markers and this looks really, really cool. So I'm just gonna blend right up and you can see how amazing it really makes those letters pop. I love how it looks. And then of course, you can do my absolute favorite, which is rainbow order. So here I'm not doing any fancy shading or anything. I'm just gonna go in with one marker per letter, but I'm gonna give it this really, really cool rainbow look. And this is my favorite. I actually used to do this as a kid where I would switch my markers as I wrote out my letters when I made my cards and it kind of reminds me of that and I think it just looks so cute to see those letters just pop in a bunch of bright happy colors. Also, instead of rainbow, you could stick to a certain color palette. So let's say you were doing mint, gray, and navy. You could just color in the letters with those colors and have them match your pattern paper or the style of your card. Now we're gonna take a look at layering the solids and the outlines together. So I have a light and dark ink here, ballet slippers and bubble gum, and we're gonna go ahead and stamp out the solid one first, and we're gonna be stamping the outline one directly on top of it. So this is a really quick and easy way to fill in your letters, and it's a really, really cool look too. So quick and easy, I was able to color in all those letters at once. Now here we're gonna do a slight offset. So I've stamped a lighter color orange there with peach fuzz and we're gonna stamp a darker color, but this time we're gonna offset it slightly and it's gonna give it this really cool trendy look, which I really love. If you remember those Starbucks cups that came out around Christmas time had this look. We had done offset sayings Christmas already before those cups came out and we were so excited to see how cool those cups looked. So here is another look at that offset style now with a light green and a dark green. And I love that it looks really bold and really cool. And you can see how you can stamp them either just teeny bit offset or very offset as we did with the green happy. Here we're playing around with mixing a pink and a purple. And I really like this look because now we filled in the purple letters with the pink ink. And so I'm just playing around with a bunch of different color combinations here. Here I'm gonna do the offset style again. I'm actually gonna save this paper so that I can just have it with my stamp set to have all of these cool ideas for different colors. And there you can see how cool it looks when you stamp directly on top or when you offset a little bit. And it all just depends on what style that you're looking for. I really like the way that orange one looks a lot. 
And then here I'm going to stamp out one in the same colors here. We're going to stamp them out where they're directly on top of each other. And then we're going to stamp out some colors and we're going to do them offset right on top. So you can kind of see the difference between the two looks. Same colors of ink, totally different looks just depending on how we stamp them. So I love that I have all these cool color combinations. I'm going to stick it in with my stamp set. And the next time I'm going to make a card, I'm going to have all these fun ideas to play around with. So now, of course, it's time to actually start creating with this set. And we're gonna be recreating a gorgeous card by Yainea today that's absolutely beautiful. And she used the hillside stencils and the bayou stencil to create the most gorgeous ocean scene. So we're gonna take out these hillside stencils and we're gonna take a bunch of blue distress inks. We have Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, and Broken China, and also some blender brushes. And we're gonna start building up this beautiful ocean scene using these hillside stencils. So we're starting on the stencil and then lightly moving on, just building up that color. Once we have that first wave, we're gonna go ahead and clean off that stencil. We'll remove the stencil, and we're going to mix and match between stencils, not only the different hillsides that are included in the hillside stencils pack, but you can also flip them over too to get different looks. So you can take the stencil and flip it over and get a totally different look out of it. So we're gonna do that, layer that in place, hold it in place with some washi tape. And now we're gonna go ahead and switch to a different color of ink. And these three shades of blue playing off each other is what's gonna look so beautiful, especially as those colors layer, as the different waves kind of hit each other. So this is just so pretty. Oh my goodness, I just love it. So we're gonna once again, take that stencil, we're gonna flip it over. Uh, clean it off first, of course, so we don't make a big old mess. And once again, we can flip it over and keep playing along with this. And I love that these hillsides have now become oceans by playing around, mixing and matching them, shifting them left and right, and playing with some blue colors of ink. Now that we have this stencil in perfect placement, we're gonna go ahead and add on some more of that ink. And so once again, starting on the stencil, moving off, and then layering it over just a little bit where those waves are gonna meet each other. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way up the card. And this is really fun. There's something really relaxing, not only about doing it, but about watching it in fast motion. Also, I want to apologize if I sound out of breath at all. I am very, very pregnant. So somehow these voiceovers are making me sound out of breath. So thank you so much for your patience with me. And so here you can see Shari is building up that color. It's looking absolutely beautiful. We're just mixing and matching that stencil, wiping it off, flipping it over, shifting it left and right. You can angle it up and down and just create the most beautiful scene this way. You can see that you could do something really similar with green inks and create kind of like a pasture look that would look really cute with maybe some farm animal stamps. So here we're working our way towards the top of this whole thing here. We're gonna add in one more of our waves and then the last one, we'll be able to just ink the top to fill that all in. To give our waves a bit of a finished look, we're gonna take one of the ink colors here and we're just gonna go around all of the edges. And you can see that as we start to do that, it kind of integrates all of those waves together and really just makes it look nice and finished. Now here we have Chip Sapphire, also a blue color, but a very, very dark blue. And we're gonna take our Bayou stencil. Now this is meant to create some vines, kind of like a cool Bayou look, but if you turn it upside down, it looks like seaweed. So all of a sudden we've gone from a bayou to seaweed in one stencil. So we're gonna turn that upside down. We're gonna use some tape to hold it in place. And then we're gonna use this chip sapphire, this really, really dark blue ink to fill in these vines that are now becoming our seaweed. So we're gonna layer that right on top and you're gonna see just how gorgeous this turns out. I absolutely adore it. So we've got our chip sapphire on there, the best part, the big reveal. Look how cool that's looking. Oh, I love it. The Bayou stencil is a two-step stencil, so it has the vines and then it has the leaves. So we're gonna take these leaves that are now gonna become part of our seaweed. And you'll see that on the stencil, there's kind of an etched in area. It's a little hard to see on camera, really easy to see in person. They're gonna line up right with those leaves. So once you've got it in place, you can hold it in place with that tape there. And we're gonna take some faded jeans distress ink, another color of blue, and we're gonna layer that on top of the leaves. And that blue with the dark blue is gonna make it have this really 
really cool seaweed quality like we're way deep in the ocean. So we're gonna go over with our blender brush just all of those tiny little areas there of those leaves, making sure to build up that color so that it looks really, really nice. And then we can lift up and how gorgeous, I mean, it's the perfect seaweed. I love how it looks. So what's an ocean without some bubbles, right? So we're gonna take our colors of ink here, we're gonna smear them onto this craft mat and create our own watercolor splatter. So we're just gonna add some water right there to that blue ink. Then we can pick it up with the paintbrush and just splatter that on. The water is going to react with the distress ink that's already on the card. And then that blue color is gonna create this effect of bubbles. So we have a little bit of tapping the paintbrush to get splatters. And then we're also taking some of that and putting it at the edge of a block. And when you flick off the edge of the block it creates a really really cool look too so I like the mix of splatters with the flicking it's a really really neat look then to finish it off we'll add a little bit of white in there as well kind of to go along with this bubble effect and then now it's time to start working on our sentiment with offset sayings birthday so here is the stamp set and we're going to be using happy birthday to you and we've got some sentiment banners here already die cut from some white cardstock this is the kitty pool ink. I love this color. It's so pretty. And we're going to go ahead and stamp that out with our solid happy. Then we're going to stamp out our solid birthday in that same kitty pool ink. These words all have rectangular style bases, meaning you can butt the two up against each other and create one long phrase. So we've done that here with the words to you, and we're going to stamp those together in the kitty pool ink as well. Now next up we're gonna take some Blue Jay ink which looks really, really close to that chip sapphire ink there that we did our seaweed with and we're gonna stamp the outline part of it on there. So we're gonna layer that and I love the look of the navy with that kind of mint color underneath. I think it's so pretty and that outline just looks amazing. So now it's time to start seeing how this layout is gonna look on this really cool ocean background we created. So we're gonna start off by taking some of these banners and kind of layering them on the card and how it might look nice. Then we went ahead and stamped, colored, and die cut a bunch of different ocean critters from different sets. So here we have You Are Sublime, which is so cute. And we also have our Dunna stamp set as well. So these are really, really fun to mix and match together. And so we're just gonna kind of start laying everything out. And I really like to do this, I start to lay everything out and kind of see what might look nice, kind of play around with things. Right at this point, kind of realizing, hmm, maybe we want the 2U on the other side, not sure. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp that out again on the other side of the banner so that we have both options and we can kind of play around and see what looks good. Once everything is in perfect placement, we can start to pick up the pieces and add them on with either some glue tube, liquid glue, or some foam squares, and just kind of mixing and matching to have kind of some popped up and some behind. And then we'll take any of the excess of those banners and we're just gonna trim that off with our scissors, nice and quick and easy. And now our card is all done. I love this card so much. I love that bold happy birthday sentiment, those cute critters in the most beautiful background. It's just gorgeous. I love using the stencils. It's just such a pretty look and I think this would absolutely make somebody's day. Next up, we're gonna create our own custom pattern paper, our own custom background using the offset sayings birthday. I really like the outline words for this because they're a little bit more subtle, not so bold like a solid letter. So they really kind of blend into the background in kind of like a tone on tone paper way. We're also using mermaid cardstock with some merman ink to go along with this kind of tone on tone look. So we're gonna take all those and line them up. They all have that same size rectangle base so we can line them up and pick them up with our block. We're gonna ink it up with the merman ink and then take our card base and just line that up right at an angle, right on to the mat so a grid mat's really helpful for this and then we can start to stamp our sentiment so we're going to stamp them right next to each other to create one line and then we're going to go right above and kind of go right in the middle to create a really cool pattern then we can come once again can continue that on both the right and left hand sides and then shift it off again and stamp it again and this is really fun it's really relaxing to do and you can see what a cool pattern paper it's making which is really really cool for somebody's birthday so so here you can see we're gonna keep filling it in and get this really, really fun look. 
and you'll see how gorgeous that is. Now to add a little extra interest, we're gonna take some Distress Ink and just ink the edges up just to kind of give it a funky look. So you could do this or not, just depending on what kind of look you want. But you'll see it's kind of making those letters pop out of the card, and I think it's a really, really neat look. This is the four square backdrop in the portrait style. And we're gonna take out our six by six pad Hello Sunshine Remix. And we're gonna go to my favorite paper cause I just love those little rainbows and stars. And we're gonna die cut this panel from this. And I love this cause it's a great way to create little scenes. And a way to kind of add an extra look to this is to actually pop out one of those center pieces. And so today we are creating a card inspired by Tammy. And Tammy does this a lot. I think it's really, really cute cause it gives you one big open space in the middle kind of gives you a different look for your four square backdrop die. So now that we have that panel all cut, we can do our main part of our sentiment. So we're going to be using, once again, the offset sayings birthday, but instead of creating a background this time, we're actually going to be using it as the sentiment. We're gonna stamp that in some jet black ink so that we can do some Copic coloring. So we're gonna be using that rainbow color idea that we had at the beginning of the video. So we picked out markers that match the pattern paper in kind of this fun rainbow order, and we're gonna color in each of those letters. And so it's gonna give it this really cool custom sentiment look because it's gonna match the card perfectly. Then we can take some glue tube and add it to the back of this panel and then layer that onto our custom pattern paper. And how cool does that look? It's like pattern paper on pattern paper. I love that we have the make a wish that matches along with our actual happy birthday sentiment. Now here we have our cute little dandy day mouse, our characters here from really high five, and then birthday before and afters. And we're gonna be mixing and matching these in a really cool way. So that cake, oh, I love it so much. And it's got its rainbow layers that of course coordinate with our sentiment. And we're gonna be using the candle there that doesn't have the flame. And we're also gonna be stamping some flames out in some yellow and orange inks. So we're gonna layer some of them with the flame on it and some without because we're gonna have our little dandelion mouse who's normally blowing on the dandelion making a wish, he's gonna be making a wish on a candle now. And so that's one of my favorite things is using this little guy here to blow out candles too. It's just adorable. I mean, look at that. Oh goodness sakes, it's just so cute. So we're gonna layer those guys on there with their cute little party hats and then we can start to form the rest of our scene. So we have some balloons and a mouse from the really high five, and so I love how these mice all mix and match together. And I love how the balloon is kind of going from one of the top squares down into this kind of bottom bigger rectangle. We're gonna add that mouse from really high five and he's gonna be carried away from the cake with the balloons, which is just so cute. I just love this little scene so much. So we're gonna layer those on there and those balloon colors are once again coordinating perfect with the colors that we colored our letters in. So I love that everything mixes and matches and is so cute and sweet and that pattern in the background is so much fun. I can't wait to try that. Next up, you guys are gonna be blown away by these incredible cards by the design team. And first up, we have this gorgeous card by Elena. I love her cute scene and how she colored in her letters with that ombre effect. Here is the card by Yanea that inspired us to make ours today, and I love how she heat embossed the sentiment on vellum. Here, Melissa used it in some journaling, so I love that this stamp set is nice and big and bold. It works even well in journaling and doing planners. I just love it. This card here by Grace, oh my goodness, how happy and fun is this? And look how she created the gray on white background with the letters, such a cool way to create her own custom paper. And Letitia did that too by layering her letters and doing the most fun rainbow inking. I love Lynette's happy scene and how she colored her letters in rainbow order. It's so bold and beautiful. And here, these cards by Elise are so sweet. So they have a very similar layout, but two different sentiments. One happy birthday and one a sorry I forgot your birthday. The other thing I love that she did is she coordinated her balloons to the way that she colored in her sentiment. And that's such a great look. And one of the things I love about offset sayings is how well you can make it really match your card. This is the card by Tammy that inspired us to make ours today. And I love how she took the make a from Offset Sayings Birthday and combined it with the letters from Oliver's Stitched ABCs. These two sets go together 
perfectly. I just love it. And here, Megan used the sentiment, she heat embossed it in white, and it's this great bold sentiment in her beautiful Magic Iris card. How cute is this card? Oh my goodness. And here, I love this card by Audrey. Oh my gosh, the Wish Big looks amazing with that beautiful stenciled scene. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here, this card by Shari is so super cute. I love how bold and beautiful that happy birthday sentiment is in the sand. I am so excited about this stamp set and I love all of the cool and different looks that you can get with it and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this so please make sure to share it with us and I want to thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!